Hello, everyone. My name is Andrew Kloster. I'm a Colorado field advocate with Earthworks. And over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to really quickly walk you through some of uh, the preliminary findings from our most recent bout of field work in Colorado's Front Range. Um, just before I jump in, a quick primer for those of you who may not be familiar with our work. We use specially designed cameras to capture optical gas imaging or OGI footage of oil and gas facilities, which allow us to see pollutants that are invisible to the naked eye. So this includes methane, which is a <clears throat> major greenhouse gas and contributor to climate change, and volatile organic compounds, which include many known carcinogens. Um, so over the next um, couple of slides, as I present the visuals, you're going to see on the left-hand side of your screen a digital footage, digital camera ish image of an oil and gas facility, so the naked eye view, and then on the right-hand side, an animated GIF that shows the OGI footage, um, the emissions coming off of that site. So um, just as a quick overview, we were, um, we spent three days driving <clears throat> up I-25 in the front range from January 26th to 28th, um, from Commerce City all the way up to Fort Collins, Windsor area. Um, we filmed OGI footage at 31 different oil and gas facilities. And of these facilities for this presentation, I have highlighted eight that um, we identified as priority sites, which um, because of the significance of emissions or the community concerns are the sorts of sites that we are going to bring to the attention of state regulators, namely the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment as they monitor and regulate air quality in the state of Colorado. So moving right along, um, <clears throat> I've categorized or put the three, I've taken the eight priority sites and put them into three broad categories, the first of which is sites which were brought to our attention by impacted local residents. So this site right here is a storage facility tank battery just north of Fort Collins. And the local resident who lives nearby has been um, smelling odors from the site, is concerned that um, the emissions from the site are contributing to their headaches. Um, so we will be um, working with the residents here to bring these concerns to the CDPHE. And as you can see um, in the GIF on the right, there are definitely some very concerning emissions coming off of those tanks. This next site um, is in Longmont, right near the Union Reservoir. This was also brought to our attention by some local residents who have been smelling odors coming from this site. Um, and you can see in the GIF once again, some definitely some significant emissions coming off of one of the stacks there on the site. Um, just for added context, um, Longmont and the and Boulder County have an air monitoring station that's right nearby on the Union Reservoir, and it recently recorded its highest ever readings of methane and VOCs since its installation. Um, this is probably impossible to pinpoint to any one site in particular, but it is more than likely the result of oil and gas activity in the area. And then finally, this site is in Windsor, um, once again brought to our attention by residents um, who have been smelling odors coming off of it, and you can see in the GIF really significant emissions coming off of this site. Um, they're somewhat obscured by this earthen berm, but we did get around to another viewing angle that was a little bit more of a distance away, but we were able to confirm that what you're seeing in that GIF on the right, we're coming off of two stacks, um, smaller stacks on the site. Um, I should also note something that you cannot see from these images from this viewing angle is that immediately behind where this OGI and this camera, um, this photo was taken, is a sprawling residential development full of new homes and with many new homes planned to be built over the coming years. So these next set of sites are, I've dubbed them chronic offenders. These are facilities that we have visited um, time and again, and we have filmed OGI, submitted complaints, and no violations, no fines have ever been issued. And unfortunately, every time we return, we continue to find significant emissions and issues at the sites. Um, both of the sites on this page are facilities that belong to extraction oil and gas, which just as an aside, as an operator, their facilities account for about a quarter of our total complaints that we have filed in the state of Colorado. Um, this first facility on the page is um, Rin Valley East. It's just south of Longmont, not too far actually from the Union Reservoir, and you can see some pretty significant emissions coming off of that tank and drifting over the fields there. And then the site below, Stromberger, um, is somewhat infamous for having made headlines not too long ago for an explosion and fire on site. Um, and then fast forward to today, and 
extraction is looking to expand this site and the city of Windsor is looking to um, construct a multi-use outdoor sports facility right adjacent to it. Um, these next two sites are both in the Platteville area in Weld County. Um, the DCP midstream newborn gas plant is a sprawling monstrosity of a site that kind of dominates the skyline of this pretty rural agricultural area. And then this PDC energy site is right up the road. Um, this, this area in Platteville is kind of consumed, I would say, by the oil and gas industry in that you can really do a 360 and on any horizon, you'll probably see some well or compressor station or other oil and gas facility. Um, and there are a lot of residents actually that live within this, this epicenter kind of, of oil and gas activity. Again, both of these sites we have filmed in the past, we have filed complaints on. And as you can see from the animated GIFs, um, continue to find when we re return to these sites, pretty significant and disturbing emissions. And then this final site um, that I'm gonna highlight today is the Suncor Commerce City Refinery. This is just north of downtown Denver and Commerce City and um, one of Colorado's most blatant examples of environmental racism. This, this refinery is, has been polluting the nearby communities which are predominantly Latino communities for decades and has for decades been violating and exceeding its pollution limits. Um, this year it is, um, it's Title V permit, which is essentially a permit for it to continue to operate and to continue to pollute is up for renewal. Um, so there will be a process that plays out over the next couple of months. The CDPHE will be hosting listening sessions and um, discussions and hearings with the public. Um, so if you're at all impacted by this site or concerned about this site, I would definitely encourage you to get engaged in that process. Visit the CDPHE website, sign up for their email alerts. Um, and you know you can see in the OGI um, footage on the right, uh, very significant emissions coming off of the stacks. I mean, really, it's just almost an overwhelming amount um, from this refinery. So that is all I have for today for this quick overview of our um, fieldwork findings. Um, we will definitely have more to share in the future as we follow up with communities and um, edit our OGI into longer videos to share with regulators. So please stay tuned. Thank you.